Before we dive into the different types of fast and why we should fast, I thought it'd be good to give a quick definition of biblical fasting. Because when I say fasting, some of you may think intermittent fasting, you may think a hunger strike like Gandhi famously did against the British Empire. There's a lot of different pictures and definitions that we can have of fasting. So I want to give you what I mean by biblical fasting. And it's simply this. It's been used by a lot of different people. It's not original to me, but very simple definition. Fasting is abstaining from food for spiritual reasons. Fasting is abstaining from food for spiritual reasons. So this is a spiritual practice. This is something we are doing to build up our spirit. This is something that we're doing to strengthen our relationship with God. It's not something we're doing to get health benefits or lose weight, even though there are some merit to those ideas. And, you know, I'm sure you probably will lose a little weight, but that's not the reason we do it. It's also not a, a hunger strike. You know, I've heard people kind of present fasting as this thing where it's almost a hunger strike for God of I'm going to fast until God does what I want him to do. That is completely not the idea of fasting that we're going to be teaching. And I'll dive more into that later on. But again, just a quick definition of what is fasting. Fasting is abstaining from food for spiritual reasons. The uh, Old Testament Hebrew word for fasting really gives this picture of covering your mouth. So it, it, it's basically meaning to cover your mouth like don't put any food in your mouth. That That's the definition. So abstaining from food for spiritual reasons. That's what we mean when we talk about biblical fasting. And when I say fasting in this course, that's what I want you to think of. I don't want you to think of uh, losing weight or intermittent fasting or any of those things. We're doing this for spiritual reasons.